Hello Lennies, welcome back to the channel. Rabbits are mystical creatures. There's so many facets to the rabbit universe, it's hard to possibly understand everything about the intricate way they operate. Today we're going to explore how, what, and why some of these fascinating things you probably didn't know occur. Before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe, smash that like button, and hit the bell so that you can get your fix of unlimited bunny content. Beginning with number one, rabbits can't vomit. Cats can cough up a fur ball after grooming themselves all day, and dogs can throw up something that didn't settle correctly in their stomach, but rabbits cannot. The rabbit digestive system is physically incapable of moving in reverse. Rather than producing hairballs, rabbits deal with swallowed fur by eating plenty of roughage that pushes it through their digestive tract. This is why it's so vital to provide your rabbits with an unlimited high fiber grass hay that will keep their GI tracts mobilized. Rabbit vision covers nearly 360 degrees. Ever noticed a rabbit's eyes are on the sides of its head versus facing forward? It's hard to sneak up on a rabbit. As prey animals, this panoramic vision allows them to see what's coming from behind them, above them, and from the sides quickly. The disadvantage is that rabbits have a small blind spot directly in front of their faces and right behind their ears. But that's where their hearing comes into play. Some rabbits are bigger than toddlers. Not all rabbits are tiny. Some, like the Flemish giant or continental giants, grow to be ginormous. The Flemish giant can reach 2.5 feet in length and weigh up to 22 pounds, while the continental giant breed holds a world record of up to 4 feet long and up to 50 pounds. Fortunately, these are gentle giants and all have the same fluffy and cute characteristics of a smaller rabbit, which makes them popular pets. Ever heard the saying, breed like rabbits? Well, it's for a reason. A rabbit can get pregnant as early as three months old. Once they reach sexual maturity, they can copulate eight months out of the year every year for the rest of their nine to 12 year lifespan. After a 30 day gestation period, the bunny will give birth to a litter of about four to 12 kits. Once she gives birth, she can get pregnant right away again. However, this doesn't mean you should breed your bunnies. Thousands of pet bunnies are abandoned or euthanized at shelters every year. Rabbits also have a high chance of developing reproductive cancers, which is why it's so important to get them spayed or neutered. There are over 45 recognized domestic rabbit breeds in the United States and over 300 worldwide. Rabbits come in all shapes, sizes, and colors ranging from spots to stripes to fluffy to silky. Eye colors can range from blue to red to brown, and ears can be upright or floppy. There are also several different species of rabbits, including seven types of cottontail. But don't let this distract you from the fact that, at the end of the day, it's not the breed that matters, but the heart. Try not to focus too much on getting a specific breed when there are so many homeless bunnies up for adoption. Rabbits can dance. Yup, you better whip out that disco ball because the wild rabbit courtship ritual consists of the male performing a little dance to impress his female counterpart. It's fascinating to watch and truly romantic. The female will play hard to get until she's impressed enough by the male. She then gives in and the mating begins. This ritual, however, doesn't really extend to domestic rabbits as their selection process is usually intervened by humans. Rabbit's teeth never stop growing. Like human fingernails, a rabbit's teeth will keep growing if not kept filed down. This is usually done through eating a gritty hay or tough to chew toys. Bear in mind, these chompers grow at a rate of up to five inches a year. The downside is that domestic rabbits who aren't fed abrasive foods can suffer from overgrown teeth that can make it difficult for them to eat and become very painful. Sometimes a manual teeth trim is needed by a professional for rabbits with this problem. Rabbits are not rodents. These fluff balls are often lumped in the same category as squirrels, mice, hamsters, etc. But truth be told, rabbits actually belong to the taxonomic order Lagomorpha, also consisting of pikas and hares. 
lagomorphs and rodents have many differences. One being, lagomorphs are almost strictly herbivores, unlike rodents. So next time someone calls your bunny a rodent, don't be afraid to correct them. Rabbits are the third most abandoned house pet. Every year, thousands of rabbits are abandoned by their owners. While dogs and cats hold first and second place at the shelters, rabbits come in right at third with overcrowding. Oftentimes, rabbits are also sadly dumped out in the wild, but domestic rabbits do not have the same survival capabilities as a wild rabbit and will not live long in such conditions. Reasons for their abandonment includes lack of education, false expectations, and their habit of chewing things. This is why it's so important to do the research needed before deciding if a rabbit is a good pet for you, but also all the more reason to adopt your bunny and save a life. Rabbits are crepuscular. That's right, not nocturnal. Although it may seem like it, rabbits tend to be most active at dawn and dusk as an evolutionary survival mechanism designed to evade predators, who might often hunt night and day. However, domestic rabbits can adjust closely to a human schedule as their circadian rhythm revolves mainly around their feeding times. Nonetheless, you'll still likely find your pet bunny napping throughout the day and occasionally exploring throughout the night. Rabbits can be litter box trained. Much like cats, bunnies can be taught to use the bathroom in a single spot. This training is aided by providing them with a large litter box filled with a grass hay of their preference and getting them spayed or neutered. This usually stops the bunny from marking their territory all over the place and keeps things consistent. Rabbits shed four times a year. Every rabbit has a different coat type and atmosphere in which they live. But like dogs and other mammals, rabbits shed a winter coat to keep warm and a summer coat to keep cool, whilst having two smaller molts in between. You'll probably notice the fur just slide right off during these seasons, which is why it's so important to help your bunny out with a good brushing so that they don't accidentally ingest all of it while cleaning themselves. Well, Lennies, thanks for joining us as usual and check back for our next video. But before we leave, let us know in the comments which fascinating fact about rabbits we left off this list. Don't forget to subscribe, smash the like button, and hit that bell for unlimited bunny content, and we'll see you all soon. Bye!